Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Biscuit. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you all are having a great day wherever you are. Y'all, I have been gone for forever. I mean, I've been really meaning to do this voiceover for this video. But let me tell y'all, life has been lifing for me. And um, I'm trying to, you know, get out this little bit of a funk that I was in. But I am uh, doing much better but today is september 14th and oh man i bought this box hold on let me go to my dms back in july hold on one second let me make sure because these messages are still loading but i bought this uh mystery box back in july i actually am following velvet vamp nails i will put her information down in the description box below um, I was following her and she was like she was doing mystery boxes um, to try to get rid of some of her nail supplies so that way she can um, afford to kind of like pay off her apprenticeship. So of course I'm down for supporting my uh, fellow nail enthusiasts, nail techs, nail sisters, um, nail friends, all that, right? So I was like, okay, let me get a box. So she was selling two different sizes. She was doing a medium and a large. And of course, I went ahead and got the large. The large was $100. And the medium, I believe, was $50. I'm still waiting for my messages to load, which is crazy. Um, so that way I can kind of go back through. Okay, there they go. I can kind of go back through and kind of share some information that me and her have been talking about. And, you know, going back and forth with everything. So... Um, but yeah, so this was originally not the same box that she sent. Um, the box arrived, uh, it arrived in one piece. However, on the inside, there was a lot of glitter. So I think two of my glitter packs might have opened and a few of my gels might have spilled. So I did contact her. I did let her know like, hey, you know, I'm okay with the stuff being spilled and whatnot. Um, but, you know, just for future, you know, references and future pur purchases that other people may do, maybe just like separate the gels and everything or put them in like a separate baggie um, just in case, you know, it happens to um, come apart or get, you know, damaged in transit a little bit. But overall, everything came very, very nice. I did have to wipe a few things down. But like I said, I'm not complaining about that. So, yeah, so I'm just taking out everything i put the nail house and the care sky over to the side because i ended up making a whole nother purchase besides the mystery box because i love the mystery box don't get me wrong but if she was gonna sell some of her products then i would like to purchase some some of the things that i actually would like off of her so um that is exactly what i did i actually made two purchases so she put everything in one box which i was definitely okay with so the stuff that is right in front of me that I'm pulling out is the stuff that came in the mystery box and the stuff over to my left, um, she ended up uh, selling her nail, some nail house products, um, acrylic powders and also Kiara Sky powders, which, you know, um, I've been wanting to get more into nail house. Um, the only purchase that I had from nail house was actually from the nail genie SC when she sent me over um, some nail house. And then, of course, you all know, I love Kiara Sky. Um, but I just found out some information about Kiara Sky that's like, mm, mm, mm. hopefully that video would have already been out by now. <laughs> but again, I have videos in the queue that I haven't even posted, but if it isn't out, um, you all know that I found recently found out that Kiara Sky, um, does create products with the prop, uh, 90, is it 95 or prop 65, um, cancer warning. So I was kind of a little bit leery with that and it kind of like made me like a little disappointed to kind of see that, which I never, never, never knew. I don't know. Like I said, I am thinking my video I mentioned and I asked, did you all know that? So again, I bought these before I even found out recently in September about that because I went to Cosmoprof and saw the label on Kiara Sky's acrylic powder. So I thought that that was interesting because even when you purchase from Kiara Sky, those stickers don't come on their jars. So needless to say, let me get it. Go ahead and get into this video because <laughs> I've been rambling the whole time since this started. 
But so the things over to my left are separate purchases that I purchased and I'm going to get into that. But everything right here is everything that came with the mystery box. So as you see, it came with some gels, some stripers, some um, solid clay gel, came with some foils, came with some glitter. I got some charms. Like I got a lot of things for $100 and they were actually name brand and good quality products. Like you even see, I got some knot polish in there. Um, I do have a galore in there, which I already own a few of her acrylic powders. Um, like I said, I have nail house, but I don't only have four nail houses, but now I have a lot. And then I have Kira Sky and also IGL Beauty. So she was actually putting together a really, really nice box. And um, yeah, I was excited to support. Right, so this was actually one of the glitters that spilled in my box but like I said it was okay I got some alphabets and number glitters um, you saw that I got some foils like I have tons of foils and I'm not even, I don't even think I have the ones that she sent me those flames were really cute um, I have some little containers of red glitter here um, so like she gave a variety of different things and was trying to like give a little bit of everything like a little bit of you know acrylic powders she gave you some gel polishes she also gave you striper gels um she gave some charms so i do appreciate the fact that she added a little bit of of everything that possibly a nail tech could use or or you know a nail enthusiast could use to do nails she gave me some uh, chrome powder stickers um like i said she kind of really put some thought into this and like i said i was very excited to support in hopes that you know this will definitely help for her apprenticeship so again i'm not sure if she is actually still making these mystery boxes uh, seeing as how i know i am late but like i said life has been life in for me and uh, if you all are interested i will leave her instagram uh, down below because i did dm her to ask her about the mystery box because like i said i wanted to support um but you know she might still be able to create these maybe look into still you know um get rid of some of her um nail products because you know not trying to be funny me and her kind of talked about like we buy tons and tons and tons and tons of nail products and it's almost like we're like mini hoarders a little bit <laughs> but you know we like the finer things in life we like bougie stuff we we like to purchase our nail stuff because we have to have it and nothing is wrong with that because that's how i am um but yeah so she might be still creating these uh mystery boxes so if you are interested um she also does hard gel um hard gel mystery boxes like she did have some lgn pro she has some young nails uh hard gel boxes that she could create she also has poly gel mystery boxes that she creates so i mean go check her out um support if you can you know it's not required but you know um i think it's really nice that she can actually cater to the type of medium that you like because you may be a girly who just does poly gel and you may want a poly gel box and she can do that for you or you know if you're a hard gel girly she will just put together some hard gels for you so um, other than that, I'm going to let you all pretty much watch this video. I am doing a ton of swatches and uh, testing out some of these products here. I don't think I did the striper polishes because, you know, um, they're just regular striper polishes. You all have seen those before, but I'm playing around with some of the things that she sent me. And yeah, I'm going to let you all enjoy and then I will be back soon.
right so i'm back and i am back with this solid nail extension gel which is an aurora extension gel now i was excited for this because i've been seeing those 3d flowers come across my tiktok um for you page and also on my instagram and i have never tried to do a flower before so here we are we're gonna do one and of course y'all already know my glove is kind of messy um but i'm gonna you know do the flower anyway which is actually gonna put some of that glitter into this extension gel but it's okay no worries so i'm going to create my beautiful flower and i have become obsessed with creating these flowers like i don't know who thought of that like in the nail industry but baby it's super super cute and look at this aurora gel like if i didn't have the glitter on my hands like i already know this will come through better than what you are seeing here so i went ahead and grabbed about four um kind of medium sized um balls and i put them in in sort of like a t shape and now i'm just taking my silicone tool and i am doing some molding to make my petals and if you have made 3D flowers before, then you kind of already know how to make flowers. But if you haven't, you're going to take the pointy side of your silicone tool and you're just going to apply light pressure um, and kind of move your petals over. I did go underneath some of the some of the petals to kind of lift up to give some type of dimension to the flower. So, like I said, I am obsessed with creating these 3D flowers. I almost feel like I want to now i haven't been in a nail lab in some months but i feel like the next set that i do i just want to do those 3d flowers so but yeah i was excited for that and i got more than just that one but of course i was just testing it out for you all um so here of course i got like a mixture of charms flower charms got heart charms some bows i mean you name it so i thought that was nice i also got some metal charms too Y'all know how I feel about my metal charms. Normally, you know, we get them on Shein and stuff like that. So I thought that this was a nice touch to add to the mystery box as well. And here we are with some more metal charms. Now, these are some new charms, of course, because, you know, the, she is giving the latest and the greatest, like the eyeballs. Y'all know I just recently bought me some. I, I don't think I've ever really seen those stars before with the colored diamond in the middle. She also provided me these charms here, which, like I say, they kind of keep up with uh, the trending art that we have and the trending charms that we have as well. So I am appreciative of that because, you know, sometimes when you think about mystery boxes, you want the latest and the greatest nail supply stuff. So I definitely can say um, it's not like she's just giving away or putting together a mystery box of stuff that she doesn't like. It's actually some nice items that um, I know I will be using in the future. So here is the glitter pack that actually spilled in the original box. So that's why it looks kind of half empty. Here are some other glitter packs. And like I said, she really put some thought into this. And I'm not just saying that, but she really put some thought into this because I don't have half of these. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, look at these neon flowers. These are really, really cute. So um, I think I have this one already. So, but like I said, um, she definitely put a variety of different items in my mystery box. And here are some water decals and the stickers. Um, like I said, they are really, really, really nice.
so you all just saw the striper polishes and the colors um here are some model ones colors and some beetles colors so another thing that i do like about her mystery box is that if you are maybe you know an inspired uh, or aspiring nail enthusiast or you just want to get into nails like this is also a good way to try brands that you haven't tried before or want to get into because like i do appreciate the smaller size bottles so you can travel with them you know maybe you don't want to waste your money on a bigger size bottle because you're unsure about the product so i do think that this is a nice way for you to try out different brands with having a mystery box and you know like i said her mystery box for the hundred dollars came with a variety of different things So here we are finally getting into the acrylic powders. Now you all know I already have a galore. Um, I have reviewed their acrylic um, powders a while ago and I already actually have this color. So that was the one thing that I was nervous with when buying her mystery boxes because I know myself, I'm a shopaholic and I have a lot of brands. So I was a little like leery on the colors that she was going to send because i was afraid that i would already have that like i said especially not polish and kira sky and i gel like i own those products too so um i ended up testing out this dip powder from i gel so you know um she sent two of the powders from i gel i never heard of bj um before um, so I thought that that was neat that she put in. Um, maybe it's a small owned business. So I did like that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just actually, you know, doing my swatches and testing out the uh, quality of the products. So I'm going to let you all watch and I'll be back again.
right, so here we are with our acrylic powders again. So here are um, the other powders that were not dip powders. I'm gonna do my Kiara Sky, which this ended up being a cover color. And then I have my two um, acrylics from Nail House. Also, I forgot that Too Cute actually was one of my mystery colors. And I was like, yes. So I probably only own two Too Cute acrylic powders. Um, Nails by Lena C. She ended up purchasing two for me and sending those my way. Because that was a brand that I have wanted to try as well. So I'm excited to add this one to my collection. And I love the neon highlighter glitter vibes that it's giving. So yeah, this was really cute. Also, I went ahead and I was like, let me go ahead and try out these dip powders with acrylic. So I ended up doing that as well. And I believe you can actually see um, the marble a little bit in a few of them. Um, but if you all don't know, dip powder is more of a finer texture to allow you to be able to dip your either dip or pour over your prerogative. <laughs> um, dip or pour over your nails so that's why they call it dip acrylic but most of the time it is a two-in-one but you just have to do your research and actually figure out um which one it actually is so this one is actually a dip powder so that's why you can kind of see the separation a little bit especially on the front um when it comes to using monomer with dip powder so you know just fyi
so I did want to do a comparison. So the dip is on the left and the acrylic is on the right. Again, the dip on the uh, dip on the left, acrylic on the right. Kind of can't you can tell a little bit. Um, this one I couldn't tell at all. But dip on the left, acrylic on the right. Just so that way you can see how it's used between um, with the liquid and of course with the dipping system. But thank you so much to Velvet Vamp Nails for uh, this mystery box. I did thoroughly enjoy it. And again, I'll leave her information down in the description box if you all want to reach out to her and check her out. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day and even better week. And I will catch you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.